for me, it's nobody like Inky Johnson. Like Inky's you, an animal, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Inky's an animal. No, I don't think you understand. Like Inky, and, and and I love to give praises where it's due. Inky's a beast. Like, like that guy, he he's something different. He touch your mic and it's like watching Rock Kim in his prime or or, or yeah. Biggie in his prime. Ink is different, bro. It was cr- so we we're all on tour with um, me, Inky, Et, my man Jeremy Anderson, and I'm I'm sitting next to him one day. It is like behind, you know, the like the the back room before the actual event starts. Mm-hmm. And um, I got a notebook in front of me, so I'm going over what I'm going to say. He said, "You know what you're speaking on." So I go through my notes, and you know, I'm kind of telling what I'm what I'm about to say. And I said, "Well, what, you know, what you going to talk about?" And he said, I, I don't know yet. But he had a notebook in front of him and he's going through. And I'm like, those are your notes. Ain't it? Like, you have some idea. He said, this is so crazy. He said, um, I don't really study what I'm going to say. I study how I'm going to say it. He said, I study the audience. He said, I study the crowd. He said, I study the art form. It's not about the content. He said, the content is going to be the content. I've lived X amount of years, been through experiences. I got content, but he says, I study, yo, when I tell you, Inky studies the art of communication. He's a student, and that's why he's so phenomenal. So he said, he doesn't study what he's going to say. It's how he's going to say it? Yeah, he gave me so many jewels. He said, yo, he's like, yo, when when I hit the stage, he said, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go real deep, real fast. He said, I'm going to punch the crowd in the mouth off rip. <laughs> They're going to know I'm here from the beginning. I mean, it, 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 it's just a, like psychology. He said, once you got them there, you got them for the rest of the time. So for me, I kind of get to know the crowd. I'm kind of feeling and kind of... And, and, and I start to think about it. Like, he truly studies the art. I speak because I feel like I'm a good speaker or I have some, you know, my personality. But he is a student. That's why he's so effective. That's the great separator. Most people don't study like Inky. Yeah, I mean, he's he's different. Yo, let me ask you this, because you 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 want to us. You, E.T., Inky, Jeremy? Jeremy Anderson, yeah. Willie Moore Jr. was on the tour, yeah. Okay, Willie Moore Jr. too. Okay, these are all profound speakers. I don't know where you was at in your career at this time, but how does that make you, like, <laughs> you on the tour. Favorite, bro. You know, like, like that's like being the little dude on the dream team. Uh, like, like you, 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 the, you, the, you ain't the sixth man off the bench. You number ten. Like, how does that feel? You got your little 10, 15 minutes, mm-hmm. and you got to try to make a difference, knowing that these dudes is coming behind you. Yeah, man. Uh, nah, yo, here is the order. So, Anki, go first. Hold up, whoa, then, whoa, whoa. Ink went before you? Ink set the whole thing off. <laughs> look where they where they look where they sandwich me. So Ink goes first, which makes it really hard for Jeremy, but Jeremy is an incredible Jeremy's one of the most powerful speakers I've ever met in my life. So no, Jeremy's no joke. Jer- and shout out to Jeremy Anderson. Yeah, he's a monster, bro. So Inky and then Jeremy, then me, and then E.T. So so Inky got people, go, like, he's taking people through so many emotions. And then Jeremy is taking people through so many emotions, really making them reflect on their life. And then I come. I'm not deep. I'm not the guy that's going to make you cry. I am, so, like, I, I guess I'm just, like, the average person. And then they know that E.T. comes next. So they're, they're waiting for E.T. So I'm like, yo, I got to step my game up. But uh, thank Thank God that um, CJ saw something in me and uh, I believe I was able to hold my own because uh, I was just, through through CJ's like kind of coaching and teaching, he just taught me how to find my own voice and my own voice, voice was unique. You know what I mean? So, um, nah, it was, it, it, it was amazing. It's like, the, it's like the little dude playing ball with his bigger brother friends. You feel me? <laughs> Yeah, I, you might be, you nice, but what happens is after a little while of playing ball with your big brother and his friends, when you get around your peers, you the GOAT. 
you know, it's it's crazy because we know pressure busts pipes, but that same pressure creates diamonds. Yeah, for sure. And you being put in between <laughs> some of the craziest speakers and you gotta go hold your own. If you don't fold, you gonna come out of there diamond yourself. <laughs> for sure, 100%. 100%. It was, a, it was a really, really fun experience, real educational, man. But what I found is no matter, especially in like communication and speaking, no matter how good everybody else is, nobody can be like you. And in a crowd, in a crowd, everybody's not E.T., everybody's not Inky, not everybody's Jeremy. There's somebody in that crowd that relates to me. You feel me? So like th- it was, it was really humbling. People were like, yo, you was the best one. You was the best one. And I, I'm not taking that as I'm the best speaker. It was just, I connected with you best. And there's somebody in that crowd that I'm going to connect with that nobody, I'm talking, I'm talking about Les Brown, Tony Rock, nobody can connect to that person like me. And there's a bunch of people out there that they're looking at these big names and they're trying to be that when everybody don't connect to that. You know, how long did it take for you to realize that concept? Because this is a bigger conversation. We're talking about speaking. But overall, in entrepreneurship, I always say, you are the secret sauce. It's you. People, you know, there's nothing on planet Earth that ain't really been done yet. There's variations, there's remixes, but... It's your uniqueness. It's that thing that only you possess that is going to make you special. And I love the fact that you pointed out in a room full of people who are there, obviously, because E.T., Inky, they're headliners, right? Or E.T. at the time is the headliner. He's the big name. People coming up to you and saying you were the best one because you connected with them. Can you speak about the concept? Because I think so often, just in the world of entrepreneurship, we get in our own way. People think that they have to follow what's out there and they forget that it it is them. It's it's, it's what's in them that is going to separate, you know, what they're bringing to market from anybody else that has bought it to market before. Because I always give this example. You got McDonald's, you got Burger King, you got Five Guys, you got Smash Burger, Checkers, all of them sell burgers, but they're yeah. all successful. Can you yep. speak to that for a second? Absolutely, man. You think about it. The process of the hamburger at McDonald's versus the hamburger at Burger King, Burger King's burger is better. It's a better burger. Like, we know. We saw the McDonald's movie, and we know all the all the, uh, the documentaries about McDonald's, and this food is terrible. But some people love them burgers, bro. They love them joints. And they'll never go to Burger King. Or, it's so crazy, when I was a kid, I would much rather eat McDonald's than my mom's burger. Now, I grow up now, and I'm like, yo, I need that mama burger. I ain't trying to eat that. But... The only thing you could be is yourself. So they did a study, it's called a genius study, of over 97,000 high performers, of people who are at the top of their game, 97,000 high performers, and they're trying to find what talents or skill sets do all these high performers possess? Because if we understand that, then we can just create it. If they're all super motivated, all I gotta do is find out how to be motivated and I can be successful. Or if they're all driven leaders, I study leadership, become a leader, I could, uh, I'll be super successful. But they found out they're, they're, that there weren't any talents, but most of those people, 80, I think it was 80, 85% of those high performers had a high level of self-awareness and authenticity, meaning I know who I am. And most importantly, I know what I'm not. Authenticity, meaning I walk in that. If you are going to perform at a high level, you have to have a high level of self-awareness. So my self-awareness says I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm not motivational. It's, it doesn't even come off right. You feel me in terms of like, um, trying to motivate and pump somebody up. That's not me. But when I tried to do that, it never came off right. But when I just 
was myself and I talked how I'm having a conversation with you right now on stage and I'm giving my formulas and I'm taking these kind these complicated subjects and uh, kind of spoon feeding them in real simplistic terms. When I do that, I'm the best in the world. And it's not because I'm putting on that show. That's how I understand. If you tell me something too, too complex, I'm like, hold on, break that down. I don't understand. I dated a girl one time. She always used to use these big words. She was a college graduate. And I would always say, hold on, what does that mean? Oh, what? And she got frustrated. She's like, yo, you can't be serious. I'm like, yo, I don't, I don't know. You got to tell me. But once I owned who I was, I'm the best version of me. And people are attracted to people who can be, um, be themselves because that's one of the hardest things for people to be is themselves. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.